How's it going? Welcome to a foot freeze. We have one of the second batch cards. It is Alex Moreno. Position change from left back to right back. That's a very good position change due to the lack of options in this position for the uh, the nation, uh, Spain, and the league. Uh, so it's a, a good option. It's really the one that will stand out now as uh, one of the top options. I mean, you have Carvajal, Sergio Roberto's in form, but I don't think anyone... Uh, in the right mind would be using those and then you have Semedo who transferred so that's not an option so this really is one of your uh, your top options and it looks like a decent card uh, he is dropping in price a lot he's crashing uh, he's gone 20k down on xbox he's settling at around like 50 to 60k today on uh, both consoles and i can only see him going down even more now we are getting a real betis player sbc coming up in the next couple days i think it was on the like uh, the home screen where they show like hints uh, so that could definitely have an effect on his price, uh, depending on who it is. I mean, if you get like a Borja Iglesias, uh, nobody will care. But if it's like someone like Fakir, uh, someone interesting, then that could definitely increase the price. So something to definitely consider when uh, purchasing this card. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into the stats. Of course, 89 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Uh, that's good pace. I, I always say that minimum you want your fullback to have like high 80s to low 90 pace this year i think that's really important this year and it's very noticeable you know going up down the flank uh going forward or even tracking back defensively uh you know he's just got good pace uh going forward i would definitely consider him to be a far more attacking uh fullback that's definitely his uh main uh i guess forte he's very good going forward a great playmaking fullback uh, we'll get you a load of assists uh, he's got the 83 vision 86 crossing and 83 short passing uh, so you know distributes it very well he can even score you can see a nice finish into the top left corner uh, but yeah on the ball as well feels very quick agile turns very well uh, like most fullbacks on this game his lateral movements are very quick and he feels very smooth uh, almost like a winger this is why i like him in these attacking positions because uh, on the ball he just feels you know very uh, fast uh, so yeah, 92 agility, 86 balance, 80 reactions, which is alright for a defender, uh, 84 dribbling, and 81 ball control, 65 composure, uh, composure is pretty noticeable uh, when you look at the stats itself, but didn't have too much of an issue with it. Now if someone uh, you're playing, which I guess is a lot of people in this community, uh, team press or do like press after possession loss, you might notice it when you're trying to play out of the back or build up play, uh, and then off the press he might... Uh, lose possession off a pass or something so that's something uh, definitely to consider but i didn't have that much of an issue that really wasn't my main concern but if there was a huge con perhaps uh, that would be the main uh, stat to look at uh, defensively uh, attack as you know in terms of tackling he was a good tackler he's got 87 stand tackle and 83 slide tackle but when it came to zonal defensive ability and just uh, understanding what was around him uh, he wasn't the best, I'd say quite average. Uh, you know, he did get caught out uh, off the counter. Uh, and that's just because he found himself very high up the pitch. Now, I know uh, you can mess with instructions and fix that, but that was a little noticeable. But uh, yeah, just something to consider. Uh, he's still got decent stats in terms of that. 81 interceptions, 82 defensive awareness. And then physically, uh, 99 stamina is the thing, is the main stat that stands out here. And that is... Uh, very important for a fullback and you know he'll last the full game that's you know that's a really good stat so overall i think he's a decent option you know he's not that expensive definitely probably the best spanish right back and the best la liga right back that there is in the game so it's definitely a huge option and uh yeah i'd probably recommend trying him out so that's going to be my alex moreno review please like the video of course subscribe comment down below who you'd like to see next and thank you for watching